Hey everyone, welcome back. So, uh, Happy New Year's and uh, Valentine's Day, I guess. Hopefully there's not a Happy Easter as well, too. Here's the DVD drive from the last video, the one that I absolutely botched the soldering on. Gonna try and redeem myself with this. Now by soldering, I think I inflicted enough mental anguish on myself last time with that. What I'm gonna do instead, because we suspect the laser is okay and only the main board on here is bad, I'm gonna find another Xbox with a Samsung drive that uh, hopefully has a bad laser and a working board. Now, the reason I specified Samsung drive is because of this. There's four different variants of Xbox drives. If your Xbox comes with like, say, a Thompson drive, you can actually just rip it out, put a Samsung in there, and it'll work. The only thing you can do is uh, obviously take the control board from a Samsung drive and pop it into a, a Mitsumi or a Thompson or something. So let's find an Xbox that uh, has a Samsung drive with a bad laser. Here's the first uh, subject. Also, uh, sorry for the bit of an absence for the last couple of months, but uh, things have been really hectic in uh, real life. You might have noticed as well too, there's a little bit of a change with the workstation. If you guys are interested, I'll show a bit more of that at the end of the video. So we don't actually need to open this up to be able to tell what kind of drive is inside. We can actually do this. That's what that drive looks like. And by looking at this picture, that tells me this is probably Hitachi or LG drive. So, no good. Let's try number two now. And this one looks like a Thompson. And the fan's really loud as well. And last one. Hopefully this one's a Samsung or uh, this is gonna be a really short video. Uh, yeah, there was a problem with the belt on this one. Gonna do the old paperclip trick here and push it into the hole right there. And there we go. And success. This one is a Samsung. Yeah, this is a Samsung drive. The uh, Toshiba parts got me a little bit worried, but I think we're okay. The model number is still the same, SDG605. So I'm hoping the control board's still the same. Also, the uh, video quality should hopefully be a little bit better on this video. I've got a uh, new camera, basically my old phone that I just switched over. Um, so let me know if the quality's a little bit wonky or anything like that does look like a similar board. Disconnect these ribbon cables. There's our old friend, this uh, chip right here. And this is the drive from last episode. Let's compare the uh, two boards. This chip's in a different position, but hmm, nope. The connectors are in different spots. This one here, that one there. It's not gonna work. It's a few days later now, and here's yet another Xbox with a broken laser. Let's see what kind of drive we have in this thing. And we have another Samsung drive. Let's open it up and see if it's the correct Samsung drive. All right, the uh, sticker is a little bit different, but, but the layout of the shell does look correct. Let's find out. This is the old board. And before we rip everything out, it does look like the cables actually line up this time. So I think we should be good. So I'm going to remove this hopefully good board from in here, pop it into this drive, reassemble it, and we'll give it a test back in a second. All right, we've got the Xbox hooked up. Got a really good controller as well. Let's get you pointed at the screen. Turning on the Xbox now. So good so far, no weird errors or anything. And perfect. This is a modded Xbox, by the way, obviously. Ejecting the drive. Putting in a copy of Crimson Skies. Drive is closed. And looks like we're good so far. Let's try running it.
Thankfully, that was a successful test. Let me get this back together and I'll see you in just a second. Oh, one thing I should mention, the uh, little elephant in the uh, room. The reason this is a modded Xbox is not because I support software piracy. Reason is, this 25-year-old uh, hard drive we have right here, if this was to die, the Xbox is useless at that point. With it being soft modded, I have the ability to now switch the hard drive out should it ever fail. Now that's not to say if you have an original Xbox with a dead drive that you might as well toss in the garbage. You can still hard mod it, but that's a little bit more involved. And that's one more fully functioning Xbox now. And one more Xbox that's filled with pretty much all defective parts at this point. I will get back to this at some point, just not today. Or who knows, maybe I just pop this in eBay, put a little description saying doesn't power on, and watch the uh, shenanigans when uh, Vince buys it. And let's update this label with an ever-growing list of errors. And that's pretty much it for this video. But as promised, let me uh, show you the new setup, I guess, if you're interested. If not, thanks for watching so far. So I picked up this shell for like two bucks, I think, at Princess Auto. It was slightly... Uh, broken on the top shelf but I'm not using the top shelf either way. Got the uh, toolkits, the uh, family toothbrushes, a couple other things uh, I'll get into maybe in another video. Got the bench power supply, the rework station, and this microscope. I think I picked this up for like five bucks in Facebook Marketplace. It was advertised as non-working. Uh, figured maybe I'd get a video out of that as well as a microscope. But uh, yeah, I think they just didn't know how to plug it in properly. So there's actually two power inputs on this thing. This barrel jack right here, which uh, powers the lights, as well as a USB connector right there. I don't believe they were plugging a USB in there which is what's necessary to power the uh, screen here. It's a decent microscope. The uh, only thing is, uh, well, the quality of the recorded video, it's not really that great. I mean, this is, I think this is like a really old model as well, but it'll uh, come in handy uh, in the future, hopefully. In any case, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.